This list is comprised of the top actors and actresses who didn't get along at all during the shooting of whatever projects they partook in. Some of these get pretty rough for these actors, so prepare yourself for the top five co-stars that totally hated each other. Number one. Jamie Dornan and Dakota Johnson star in Fifty Shades of Grey, and surprisingly, they couldn't stand each other during the entire shooting process. It was said that the chemistry between the couple was so embarrassing they had to do multiple reshoots for many of the scenes, just due to their overall poor performances together. Johnson was also not too thrilled about signing on for the film's two coming sequels. Number 2. Ryan Gosling and Rachel McAdams starred in the amazing love story The Notebook, as you might remember. Don't be fooled by the film though, these two had an incredibly hard time getting along on set and there was quite a bit of drama and bickering to sort throughout. It came to the point to where Gosling had to request to do scene reads with a different actress off camera because it just wasn't working out with him and McAdams. All in all, things cooled off and were worked out after an intense screaming match in their director's office while he went out to smoke a cigarette. Number 3 Claire Danes and Leonardo DiCaprio appear together in one of the renditions of Romeo and Juliet, but just like the co-stars above, their working together on set just wasn't working out that well. A lot of the displeasure comes from Claire's end in which she says she was very disappointed with DiCaprio, saying that he made way too many jokes and was just too immature to work with it many times during the shooting. Number 4. Alex Baldwin and Shia LaBeouf got into some sort of feud together, and not knowing what exactly what was said in person or done, the feud carried on to social media, specifically Twitter. LaBeouf tweeted along the lines of, The theater belongs to not the great, but to the brash, and acting is not for gentlemen, what they do is anti-art. That actually got a response out of Baldwin, and he said, I don't think he's in a good position to be giving interpretations of what the theater is or isn't about. Shortly after this feud, LeBau was actually let go of Orphans and it was stated there was creative differences which is why he was let go, but who really knows? Number 5 Ryan Reynolds and Wesley Snipes in Blade Trinity made quite the impact. On set, it was a much different case. Literally just about everyone on the entire set of the movie has said things along the lines of Wesley Snipes just being balls out crazy and out of his mind. For example, he wouldn't speak to any staff or crew besides the director, and even then it would only be little handwritten notes that at the bottom he would sign Blade as a signature. What's worse is he pretty much only showed up to film his solo scenes, and even then he was still brave enough to tell the director that he should quit because the director is apparently a detriment to this film. The director quickly retorted back to him and said that he should quit because they could easily film everything else with his stand-in since all the close-up shots were done. Yikes.